Good morning, good afternoon and uh, good evening everyone to this new video on Azure and uh, today I'm here to talk about Azure file storage and uh, what you can use it for. As we all know that in any organization if you have to give access to shares uh, to the users within that um, uh, organization you need to deploy a file server then you create shares and then you can uh, give appropriate permissions to the users within that uh, uh, company. But now with the availability of a public cloud, there are some other options which it unlocks and uh, Azure File Storage is one of them. And what that allows you to do is uh, uh, just on a flight will allow you to provision storage in which you can uh, uh, deploy share and these shares can be accessed from Windows, Linux or Mac operating system machine. And uh, I'm going to show you in a moment how it is easy to do that. And also from the cost perspective is uh, it is pretty uh, uh, cheap if you look at because you don't have to manage, you don't have to uh, buy the storage, you don't need a technical person to uh, uh, to, to, to manage all those uh, resources. So definitely a, a very good option when it comes to small to medium sized environment. And I will highly recommend that you should check this on the Microsoft Azure portal. Uh, having said that, uh, let me show you how easy it is to provision that. So from the Azure subscription, you can go to the storage accounts and uh, click on add. And we will create a storage account with the name Girish SA. Deployment model is resource manager. Account kind will be general purpose version 2, which is the latest one. Uh, select your appropriate location and uh, pick your replication. In my case, it's going to be locally redundant. And uh, I'll keep the access to your heart because this will be accessed frequently by the users and uh, deploy that within the resource group, which I already have with the name Girish RG and click on create. the storage account was created and let's get into the storage account and under the services you will see I have the option of uh, uh, files so let me just get into this and uh, create a file share with the name uh, say fs1 and you can provision the quota now for this version the maximum quota you can have for the file share is 5120 GB which is equal to 5 terabyte for this demonstration I'm going to keep it 10 gig and click OK so the share was uh, created successfully. Now if I expand these three dots, you will see that uh, uh, I have the option of uh, connecting this. So what I can do with this one is I can map this to the network drive and Azure make it really easy for you because it gives you all the uh, PowerShell command which you can copy and you can run that in the, in the PowerShell. Now the other option of uh, mapping the network drive is that uh, if I still expand these three dots, I can go to the properties. I can uh, pick this URL and uh, if I go to the file explorer, I can uh, map this network drive by putting the same way you will do backslash backslash uh, with the name of the file share and uh, uh, so you can go to the map network drive you can pick the drive letter you want and uh, if I paste it you can see that I can just move it the way it is in the example and uh, I can move it 
here and I will make this also as for the example given over here and I can um, er, connect using different credential and click on finish and it will ask me for the uh, access key which you can find it under the uh, settings the username will be the name of the storage account and then the password will be the key you can use either key one and key two so uh, it's uh, Microsoft makes it really easy for you because it gives you all the information all the commands and uh, then you can uh, utilize this so you you saw that how easy it is uh, to provision the files and uh, if I get into this one I can uh, create a share from here and uh, I can uh, specify which users want to have access or we can provision them so that they can access this uh, share from their uh, computers, laptops, whether it's Windows, Mac or uh, Linux machine. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.